Well, here we are, Cape Arid. Pulled into the campsite yesterday, so we're up in the top section. There's two sections here. The Mia Mia. Mia Mia, which is the top one, both the Thomas River, and then there's a bottom one called something else. They're only about a kilometre apart, so uh, there's not that much difference. But um, we've got a nice big site. All the sites seem to be really quite big. Down at the bottom, um, there's a mixture of really big sites and really small sites. Um, so uh, if you are coming in and you've got a large van, you've got more chance of getting up the top than you have down the bottom. But anyway, today the wind is still blowing. Tomorrow we're meant to start the, the uh, fine weather. They're saying it's about four days of really nice weather, so we're looking forward to that. So from the top campsite, there's a track that comes down to the beach. It would be 200 metres, maybe? Yeah. 300 metres, not that far. And then that gets you down to the beach. I'll show you. So when you get down to the beach, you actually have to go across the river, which is only a fairly shallow crossing, but it's a fairly steep little drop down onto the beach to get across. I'll show you what I mean shortly. So this one, there's two of them, this one's closed for uh, very obvious reasons. You'll see shortly. I don't know why Lisa walked down this way, but anyway. So there you go. So this one's just a little bit too steep. I'll go and show you the uh, one that's actually active. So this is the river, Thomas River. Runs up there. Once again, once the weather starts to improve, we might um, put the paddle boards in and go for a paddle up the river. We'll see what it looks like. And this is the open path. And as you can see, it's, uh, oh, geez, it's messy, isn't it? So there's been a few cars through that this morning. It wasn't that messy last night. So uh, yeah, so it's a little bit, uh, a little bit tricky. You certainly wouldn't do it in a two-wheel drive. If you've got a four-wheel drive with decent clearance, you'll get down there no trouble at all. I'd say over on the on the right-hand side looks like it's probably the easiest part. But that's it. Yeah. So that's the track. Once you get down off that, then you've got to get across the river. It's only fairly shallow, about calf deep. And then uh, you can drive down the beach about 20 kilometres, they tell me. Alrighty, let's see if we can get across and uh, head round to the Cape. So we think this one's called Dolphin Bay, Dolphin Cove. seen one on those western ground parrots. So this morning we're on the beach at Cape Arid going for a drive up see if we can find a nice gutter to have a fish into and uh, see if we can catch ourselves a um, skippy apparently there's uh, <laughs> there's a fair chance of getting a nice size skippy down here in the uh, in the gutters so we'll see if we can find one so it's a um, Beautiful long stretch of beach, goes for about 25 kilometres I believe. A couple of headlands you've got to sort of skirt up behind. But um, about 20 odd kilometres and that takes you all the way down there to Cape uh, Arid. Or Mount, Mount Arid. Arid. Mount Arid. I'm not sure whether that's the Cape or not. Lisa's driving. She just negotiated the fairly steep descent down into Thomas River. Managed to survive that, no trouble. So we're on our way out to Mount Arid. We've been trekking through the sand dunes and along the beaches and it's been a nice little drive actually. But we decided we're not going to climb Mount Arid today for two reasons. First of all, it's raining up on the mountain. Don't know whether you can see that, but it's looking a bit wet. Looks like it's heading our way. And the second reason is we have absolutely no idea how to get there. So we've been following a couple of blokes, but they disappeared up behind the sand dunes and vanished completely. So uh, we don't know exactly which way they went. And we just sort of reached a little bit of an impasse here to uh, get down onto the beach to go to the next bay. So the tracks, there's a couple of wheel tracks go up over this really soft sand and then down across the boulders. But um, yeah, we decided we're not going to push on because the rain's going to get us anyway. So. We're going to go back. There's a lovely little bay just back behind us, a couple of kilometres, so we might just back back, 
and um, set up and have a coffee in the bay and wait for the rain. So uh, we decided, it looks like the rain's actually going to pass to the north of us. So we might not get it. We hope. <laughs> That's the plan anyway. So we thought we might as well um, set up, have a coffee, throw the rod in again or throw the reel, throw, maybe throw the bait in maybe. Keep the rod and the reel on the beach with a bit of luck. And uh, just cook ourselves a coffee. As long as the marsh flies don't beat us. But it seems like Deet is doing a pretty good job keep it the marsh flies at bay because they're ferocious. Lisa especially loves marsh flies. So anyway, get the kettle boiling and uh, have a coffee. With a bit of luck we'll miss the worst of this rain. Yeah, I might be a little bit optimistic with that. Anyway, <laughs> see how we go. Time for a coffee. Hopefully we can catch a fish. Watch you before the rain hits. So great. Should get a job as a weather predictor. <laughs> so we've uh, sought shelter inside the vehicle because it's uh, just under sprinkled down now. So we just turn the car around so we can keep an eye on the fishing rod because you know what's going to happen now. As soon as that rain hits, you won't have to race out there and get a fish. It's okay, I will. So there we go. Anyway, hopefully it'll be short lived. Beautiful little bay. Got no idea what the bay's called. It's a um, couple of headlands east of uh, whatever the name of the bay is where we are. Talbot Bay? Talbot? Tool Bay? Something? Something. Anyway. Yochen. Yochen Bay? Yochen up. Something bay. Mm. Anyway, I'll just sit the rain out. Enjoy the coffee. little detour here out onto the rocks just making our way home now trying to outrun the rain the beach here it's a really pretty little stretch of coastline that's for sure really lovely well good morning a bit of a rainy night last night a few showers which was kind of lovely actually of the few times in our travels we've had um, remarkably good weather. We've only really had rain a handful of times. So it's kind of nice to hear the rain falling at night time when you're tucked up in bed. Looks like there's a little bit of blue sky out there today, so it should be a good day for exploring. Once we've finished our cup of tea in bed. 
so we're off for a walk again this morning and um, we drove up to Dolphin Cove and we thought we'd just walk from Dolphin Cove all the way through to Targon Bay which is about four kilometers one way four or five kilometers one way so um, this is Little Targon Bay just here nice and big no no Dolphin Cove is behind us this is Little Targon so it goes Dolphin Cove Little Targon and then Big Targon around the corner Big swell pumping in this morning. So this is the path leading to Talgan Bay. It's a bit of a sandy, windy path through the scrub. But we're almost there. Should pop out and see the bay here shortly. The sand is just so white around here. It's just incredible. It's a bit wild, isn't it? waves washing up over the rocks. Baby. Yeah. Okay, so we're past Talbot Bay, coming into Kennedy Bay. So we've been going just on an hour, it's about four and a half kilometers so far. About another half a K I'd say before we get into Kennedy Bay. And it looks pretty beautiful. There's also some um, big dark shadows out there, which very well could be schools of salmon. I'm hoping. It looks beautiful, it's a big bay. As you look down further, it's uh, the next bay down is Alexander Bay, where we were about a week ago and then over behind that we're back into um, Lucky Bay and Cape Grand. I think we came down before we should have. Okay, little sidetrack, not paying attention. That's it, started Kennedy Bay. I don't think you can draw. Oh, there is a car on the beach down there. Oh, there you go. So, this is what we've done today. We're here at the start of Kennedy Beach, and we started back here at Dolphin Cove. 5k one way, 10k return. Oh yeah, just gotta make it home now. No luck yet. Looks like it might be pizza for dinner. The boys on the rocks seem to catch a couple of herring. <laughs> a bit of rock fishing today so once again we uh, have come down totally unprepared and we have absolutely no idea what we're doing so everything should be good we should be getting a whopper should be getting a cracker so we're um, just at dolphin cove but no dolphin Last day at Camp Harris today, the uh, Monday of the long weekend. We're going to um, pack up and move back towards town tomorrow, big clean up, and then start making our way west. We were going to climb Mount Aaron, which is over in the distance over there, and I'll show you Mount Aaron. So we were going to climb Mount Aaron, it's right over there, it's the highest peak you can see. But um, every time we go down that way, there seems to be showers over the top of it, so we don't want to go climbing it in the wet because that wouldn't be too friendly. But uh, we'll see how we go. We uh, also have to be careful of the tides because you need to come back along the beach when the tide is, say, two or three hours after high or before high. Otherwise, it gets very, very soft. Very hard work getting along the beach. But um, anyway, Lisa's there, rod in hand, normal stature. She's not wearing a I fish like a girl shirt, so I don't know how that's going to affect the fishing. But uh, we'll see how we go. 
put a bit of time in here, hopefully get a fish. Well, fishing was a bit of a flop. Three parrot fish, I think, was about all we got. So uh, not much joy there. So we're down at Tagon Bay for a coffee. And we're very disorganized today. We forgot the milk. We forgot a rag for the fishing. Lisa just broke one of the coffee cups. So yeah, we haven't had a good morning as far stuff as, happens. yeah, stuff happens. Exactly. And uh, so anyway, this is uh, Targon Beach. We were down here the other day when we did our hike. It's about two and a half kilometers from one end to the other. Beautiful white sand, as you can see. And on a nice day, it would be absolutely gorgeous. But today is not shaping up to be a nice day. Looks like there's a little bit of rain on the way. So we better have our coffees and uh, pack up and start making our way home. Not far from the uh, from the camp, Thomas River Camp. We're only three or four kilometres, maybe. Not even, uh, it'd be, be, be that. It'd be three kilometres to the turn off and then it's two kilometres from the turn off down to the beach. So we're about 5k from uh, camp. Targon Bay. Tagon Bay. T-A-G-O-N. Or T-A-G-E-N. Tagen. I don't know, I'll stick something in the video anyway. So, we've got a couple of interesting things here. We've got, so this is just around the camp. So we've got this fella here, little sand iguana, who we see regularly. And then just over here, we've got someone we don't see regularly, which is a good thing. exactly what sort of snake that is but heading back towards the caravan it's interesting the um, the birds start chirping this alarming chirp whenever they sort of see predators around and they've been going off for a while and I thought there must be something around so I came to have a look and sure enough spotted the Goanna to start with, but I didn't notice the snake until I came to film the Goanna. He's heading back towards our caravan. I might just go back that way, make sure he doesn't uh, get too close. Something we certainly don't need. And here, over in the background, the birds chirping closer to the caravan. That's probably the snake that they've spotted over there. hear them chirping away there so that's the warning sign warning that there's a predator around somewhere and I'm guessing it's the snake that they've spotted very interesting it's nice to know that you might get some warning if there's something nasty lurking nearby but um, I wouldn't guarantee that that's gonna happen every time and okay, let's get back to the van and just see it. make sure that snakes not coming our way Get them chirping again, just in the bush here. Oh, there it is. You can see, you hear the chirping, and there's the snake in there. I don't know if you want to see it. There it is in there. Oh, look at that, it's actually got a mouse. I might go and grab my camera. Well, that was exciting, if not a little bit terrifying. But um, I've got a feeling it's a dugite. I'll have to have a look through and see if I can identify it. Very small head long skinny really long skinny tail um, but a very olive brown let me get rid of this marsh fly first uh, so where was I yeah um, yeah uh, long very long skinny dark tail so um, but he was pretty big he would have been a meter 1.2 meters long something like that it's quite big but he's um, in the bush here now somewhere but it just goes to show 
this is oh, it's just a bee. Yeah, you're never far from nature. <laughs> so I'm a bit preoccupied at the moment. Of bees and lizards and snakes and all sorts of things. Never far from nature. So um, don't leave your car doors open. I'll see what's one of them climbing in there. Okay, all right, better get back and finish sorting my fishing gear. Rightio, we're on the way out of Cape Arran. Bit of a drizzly old day, actually. But, um, so we had five days in there. It was wonderful. A beautiful place, absolutely beautiful spot. Um, campground is really good. They've got um, dump, a couple of dump toilets, really nice kitchen, um, uh, what do you call it? Camp kitchen area. Camp kitchen area, so there's, um, there's a couple of those, both on the uh, upper camping area and also down on the lower camping area. I don't think there's a preference for the upper or the lower. They've both got their bonuses and drawbacks. But um, yeah, all in all, great spot. So uh, run by parks and wildlife. Camping fees there are $11 per person per night. Let's clean this lens. Which is about on par with a lot of other places. So uh, yeah, Cape Arid, it's wonderful. And uh, we'd certainly go back there again. Absolutely beautiful. Rightio, yeah, we'll just finish airing up the tyres and then we'll head into Condon Up and uh, get ourselves a coffee. Great coffee, Condon Up at the pub. <laughs> 